Hey guys. I'm gonna make a pair of hunting boots. Um, I saw some pictures online of it that I thought looked really cool. It's like uh, this is going to be a kind of a primitive twist on a more modern shoe design. But this is a piece of uh, deer skin. It's a pretty tough grade skin, so I think it's gonna work perfect for this. I just had it soaking, so it's nice and pliable. And uh, I'm gonna try to do this in a way where I could, I wanna get three layers for my sole. So I wanna maximize the use of the skin. Hopefully I can get all three. I might have to supplement with some buck skin for the tongue. And uh, depending on how high I want these boots to go up my legs, so. But for the, for the sole, I wanna get I want to get three layers thick, so I have to kind of work this in a way where I can maximize this hide. So right here, I'm starting at the neck where it's the toughest part of the skin. So I want that to be my base layer that makes contact with the uh, ground. Maybe it'll hold up the best. Um, so I just want to try to lay this out where I know I'm going to be able to get on here. I want to trace my foot, but I want to leave it wide. I want to leave about two inches all the way around. So that's going to fold up and I'm going to kind of do a pucker toe. Like I said, I saw some pretty neat pictures online. I'm going to try to replicate that. Um, so I have to work around these holes, so it's going to be a little, a little tricky. I might be able to, I have a lot of hide to work with, but I want to just try to rob this, uh, Rob this neck meat. I want to leave enough for the heel to wrap up. I might just do it there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, you don't have to do this. This is just fussing. Make yourself a gauge. This is a uh, this is an all I made in a video. I think one of my uh, my caveman deer hide video making buckskin. I'm just going to use this as a scribe. And uh, like I said, I want about two inches two inches around my foot which is uh, not very much about right there this, I'm gonna just try to scribe around my foot here and you don't have to do this it'd probably be easier just doing this by eye but for those that are really into perfectionism which I'm not. So I'm going to uh, just eyeball this. I'm going to leave this a little longer in the back so I have room to wiggle room to pull out my heel. So there, that's a big wide boot. I'm just following my scribe line here. All right, guys. So we cut those out. We got three layers, so these are gonna be nice and thick. They're gonna hold up well. And the next step is to actually, um, I'm gonna start punching the holes. And I don't know. I'm gonna start right about in here at the end of the toes. Maybe slightly, yeah, right about here. And I'm gonna come up with them. And they'll be spaced pretty far apart. And um, they're gonna to correspond to holes on the inside here with the tongue. I'm gonna to have a like a re long rectangular strip. And uh, those holes are going to correspond, but these tongue holes are going to be slightly closer together. Because as this puckers, you take up space. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to punch out my holes, try to keep it pretty consistent. After that, then I'll insert the tongue. So hopefully, I'll just, uh, I won't talk so much from here. I'll just show you from here, but this is going to get really long if I don't. All right, guys, I'm going to cheat and use this board. 
as the pattern for my uh, my center tongue and uh, I'm just gonna go a little wider just a general rectangular type shape is all I'm after like that and that should be plenty big to go from the toe wrap up the shin a little bit so we'll cut that out and make a, another one okay guys now we're gonna sew this tongue to the the base layers and this is where the pucker comes in I cut myself some lace hopefully it's long enough I don't I don't know I was getting impatient but uh Um, we're going to use what's known as a, uh, a running stitch. First you're going to feed the lace through the first set of holes and you're going to tie it off. And you proceed to use a running stitch around and I'll show that as I get it. But I just want to get this started first and then we'll, and I'll show you what it looks like as I get going. Okay guys, I got this started. I got it tied off. And I go through. And I keep coming back in like this. All the way around. That's a, that's a running stitch. And that's going to cause it when you pull the string to kind of bunch it all up. And pucker the toe. So, I'm just going to get going here. Okay, this gives an idea of stitching. I tied it off. And run it through there. I'm going to cut this tab down, forming the heel. This is one boot that's... Okay, these are totally functional at this point. Um, the only thing I think I'm going to add to these is what I did on this side. Just some uh, shoelace loops. So as these things stretch, I can keep tightening them. Throw those on here, and that's it. Good old guys. Have this upside down. Hopefully you can see it. Alright guys, puckered uh, boots here, all done. There's room for heavy socks in there, fur, whatever you need to put in there. And these definitely, you can adjust these quite a bit. Alright, thanks for watching.